Hello everyone, it's Francesco here and welcome to another video. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to use Evernote and set up an Evernote inbox. Um, it's a perfect tool for any Evernote user and I'm going to be demonstrating on, on both Evernote for Mac and Evernote iPhone. So to start off with, you need to go into your Evernote and create a new notebook called Inbox. Uh, once you actually have this uh, inbox notebook created, what you need to do is create it just outside of all of your stacks. So as you can see, I've got four main stacks. And as you see at the bottom, I've got an inbox there just outside of those, just to keep everything clean and precise. What else you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner and make sure that it is available to be in the shortcut section. Um, so you can actually edit that by going into the notebook section and hitting uh, add to notebook to shortcuts, which will allow you to get access to it easily. If you hit notebook settings, you can actually change the notebook to the default inbox. Um, the default notebook, which will allow you to add any new note directly to here for processing later. So one of the benefits um, of actually having an inbox is you can actually monitor any incoming activities. Um, one thing here is you can actually name it in any way you like, uh, capital letters. It doesn't have to be called inbox, it can be called anything you like. But essentially here you can actually um, process all of the notes that come in. So if you want, uh, you can actually, and what I do is when I'm inside a note and I've just finished with it or I've added it to my inbox, I then transfer it to any other account. So this one will go to uh, my back notebook. Um, as you can see here, I keep it in card view just to keep everything going. But to hit that at any given time to sort of capture any of your information or ideas is a good way to get started. So making sure if you want to co like collaborate as a team, uh, adding anyone to the shared notebook, you can add a few people to it and also collect everything. It can almost be your email address if you'd like it to be. But it's a good way to be able to access. So make sure to always sync when you're accessing all of the information um, because it will keep your inbox clear as you change and move notes to other notebooks. But one thing you need to be able to do is set up the email. So as an Evernote inbox um, user in the Pro and Premium account, you can actually uh, import new emails to Evernote. And as you can see here, here's an account summary. So you need to go into files, account summary, and actually click down um, onto the, uh, I think it's, you need to click down onto the history section and actually hover over the email notes um, into and actually save this as a contact. Once you've saved that as a contact, it's very useful. So let's see me demonstrate on the iPhone how to do this. So you need to go to the settings page, general, um, and over to Evernote email address. From here, you can actually choose it here. You can copy it to clipboard or actually create it as a brand new contact. I'd recommend doing this because obviously when you're on your mobile, you can start dumping this in quite fast. And that's a really simple way on, on creating the Evernote uh, inbox. Uh, as you can imagine, easy to do and very beneficial when you get started. Anyway guys, I hope this session was useful and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you very much.